Bring it back. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Oriental Empires. If you remember, in the last episode, we got heavily involved uh, in a campaign against the Bah. They were started to surround my cities with lots of individual units. So we pretty much spent the entire episode trying to battle off the enemy units that were surrounding us, and just trying to keep control of my capital and Chengdu down to the south. So, my plan this week is to get a bit more aggressive. I think I've been fighting for too long a purely defensive war, and I don't think that's really worked out very well for me. So, first order of business is going to try and be to recruit some more people. Uh, some light spearmen or long spearmen? We'll have some more light spearmen from Pi. Oh, we can recruit a lot. And invest in some more noble axemen. And then this entire lot. Oops, we go back off the screen to the garrison screen. It's going to move out to form one huge army and we're going to march on the enemy city, which is somewhere in this fog of war over here. Chengdu, which has only got one garrison and is at slight risk, um, can't actually recruit anyone because the gates are blocked. Brilliant. So, can't do anything with them. I'll just have to hold out and hope to survive on their own. Um, we have an army down here in Jitong, but we also have quite a lot of bandits to deal with. So they're basically spending their time chasing them around. How many bandits? Yeah, still fairly strong bandit army over there. And they're burning all my farms, so that's causing trouble for me. Um, which is causing food shortages, yeah. Not really a lot I can do though about that. So, just have to press on. Uh, technology, everything's researching. Good. Okay. Straight into the next turn. Okay, so obviously we're going straight to war with the bandits. I think this game still needs a little bit of work on the AI because uh sometimes oh no we are engaging another another unit of bandits. Wow, there's bandits absolutely everywhere. They're not quite, still not quite as uh, well represented as like the Total War AI. They're not as accurate. People seem to sort of dash all over the place a little bit. It's like we're at risk of losing this one unless they break and run. Come on, peasants, drive them off. Okay, so we've beaten those ones there. Now you see, if, if I could control these troops, I would immediately cast them back to try and run into the rear of the enemy over here. Yeah, instead, they sort of seem to just mill around for a while. Eventually, they may reform like this, and eventually, they may start to walk towards the enemy. But it takes such a long time that my units have either been defeated and ran by this point, or it's too late. So they're still organised. Now they're advancing back towards the enemy. But that that sort of gap can be the difference between winning or losing a battle. So, I mean, hopefully, that's something that will get sorted out in future. Okay, so our units are now routed. Our oh, peasant spearmen then charge into the back. And there they go. But if they'd done that earlier, my units wouldn't have had to rout. I don't know. Alright, it's their reform over there. Um, hopefully this army should be okay down here. Oh no, I think we're going to war with another unit. Oh, of course, we're in out war with these other people as well. <laughs> oh dear. This is a bit of a hard fought campaign, this is. Okay, so our army has been driven off. Okay. So these units can advance as much as possible. These more experienced units, I'm probably going to then head back towards Shedong. I might head them up to the highlands. I don't want to engage all the enemies if possible. The enemies have got some sort of badly damaged uh, infantry units still surrounding Shedong. 
is obviously causing it to struggle. It's the coin. Yeah, so an outlaw with the coin to the north of us. Uh, Xi Meng has this. We're still getting population growth, so we'll invest in further farms. Xi Tong is struggling because all the farms keep getting burnt down. We're still getting population loss of 0.5. So we'll invest workers into constructing more farms down there. Uh, what's the situation at Pi like? Um, a little bit of population growth from spare workers, so we'll invest that in another farm. So invariably we'll get down, burnt down before long, I'm sure. Technology is still progressing apace. Can't recruit there. Um, these units really need to try and make it back to friendly territory. But because there's no garrison at Jeton, I think it would be worthwhile investing, recruiting some, some infantry there as well. Problem is, all this investment is means that sort of our, our our turn income is now very low because we've got so many units garrisoned and built everywhere. We've not got any spare money. But let's go into the next turn. Okay, so we're immediately going into battle. Um, our entire army against sort of a few pe few peasants. Uh, okay, that's good. Our enemy is fighting our barbarians for us, so we don't really care about that. Um, and the enemy peasants have ran already. Which is good. So our army is on the move. And all they can do is move up to the river next turn. Um whether we want to try and risk an engagement yeah we'll push down here next turn um, I'd rather be nearer to the city so we may get some arrow fire support by being closer to the city and um, the barbarians are obviously driven off by the enemy units but not too catastrophically we'll push these back over the river to try and basically head back to garrison the city there okay Check the technology tree. Uh, um, power. Oh, I think power is basically military technology. Um, chariots. Increase farm production. Well, given how many farms are getting burnt, burnt down, more food is always of benefit. I did think about. I did see something I've never used. Are the edicts? Costs eighty. As general. Hmm. No, it doesn't really seem worthwhile at the moment. Okay, pass straight into the next turn. So we've moved up to the river tile there. Ah, so an engagement has broken out here between the enemy noble infantry and our units crossing back across the river towards the capital. Okay, so they've engaged the capital's garrison. We're actually trying, maybe trying to take the city. Come on, reinforcements. We need to valiantly defend the city here. Okay, so our people have charged into the side, which is good. Could do with these people getting involved as well, really. They are suffering some casualties. And they are sort of a less unit, so as long as we don't break... Our garrison is struggling, is feeling like breaking, so we really need them to hold. Because we're going to win if, as long as they hold out. Ah, where are you going? What are you running away for? Come on. Okay, they're charging back in. It's a bit of a random reason to run off and then run immediately back again. Not really killing any of them. This could be a problem here, guys. I don't know if we don't win this. I think we're going to lose the city. Okay, okay. Some are dying. They're struggling, as are we. Morale is particularly... There they go. They've driven off. Good. Just about managed to hold the city. That's important.
barbarians again have arrived on the scene. Um, I think we can just fast forward this bit since there's no imminent battle. Ooh. Oh god, now barbarians are attacking the city. Which we lost. Okay, wait for them to get that. Dear, we're struggling a bit here with barbarians as much as we are enemies. Okay, a new large enemy army has arrived. Okay, so next turn our army will be able to cross over the river. Um, so really, those... Oh, I think they've just got so low they've just dismantled those units. Okay. So, if we keep building up uh, maybe more units at Zitong... Then we maybe had to have a better job of. I uh, can't recruit anyone there, and we're losing population because just so many of the farms have been burnt down. Well, we'll try and recruit you more units at P then. We'll recruit some more noble axemen, and that's about it. It's about a lot. Um, the army. Well, the army might as well. No, okay, we'll meet them there. Does it doesn't seem to be able to stay in one place? I fear the arrival of this large enemy army could start a siege against Shengdong. At least they've got walls, but we're going to struggle to hold out, I think. Um, all the technology is looking good. Let's head into the next turn. Oh, see, the entire army now has to run back across the river because of one group of peasants. The enemy generals fighting some peasants, I think. Uh, some uh, rebels. Bandits. Bandits, that's the word. <laughs> okay, at least we're across the river here. Large amounts of peasant spearmen are holding out across there. That was all going on here. What's delaying? Okay. Yeah, I know I'm not war with you. Oops, didn't mean to click that again. Um, oh, I gained a hundred gold from pillaging the enemy farms. Brilliant. So basically, I want to go straight for Jai Hu. Ah. Okay, so I can't actually do anything other than basically burn down their land. Well, burning down land is good enough for me for the moment, so we shall do that. Uh, the enemy is massing quite a large army there, so these are probably going to stay stay here and just... Uh... Oh, I can pick formational. We shall. Um, I'd rather have like a defensive. Yes, defend. Since this is a larger def defending army. Um, and I'd rather set the facing. As facing that way. Where they can make a reasonable job at facing off the enemy should they come. Uh, we haven't really got any enough money to invest in anything uh, building wise. And this, well, let's have to build a foundry. I'm going to enable the construction of an armour. Uh, over here they're just completely outnumbered, they've got no defence at all. Do both enemy cities have defensive walls? They do. Kind of limits how much damage we can do, but nothing we can do about that. I know, straight into the next turn. So again they're trying to take the city with... Pretty ridiculous if they can take the city with four people, but... It wouldn't particularly surprise me. I've only got 22 and my people are useless. Wow, we're going to lose. 
Okay, so the city now has no garrison either. Okay, so they took the city with four people. Brilliant. Oh dear, guys. So we're not doing very well here. So, lesson number one. Let's build some walls. <laughs> walls are clearly needed. We'll get them built. Um, our army here is still kind of outnumbered. Now they've got such a large army built up there. Well, I'll advance forward with that army, just not actually do anything too damaging. And over here is all I can do is continue to try and burn down their farms. Uh, Technology-wise, we, knowledge, we need to increase horse riding. A useful skill, I'm sure. Um, so they're now building walls there at Jaming. P, we could recruit more people, but we've got very little gold available to us, so... I don't think that's really going to be a wise decision at the moment. Let's see what happens. Not really a lot to report here. Oh, I don't think these people move until you take them out of a defensive, defensive formation. I was not aware of that. The next turn they'll advance up to that. Okay. Uh, Jaimeng, the ball should be under construction, which they are, which is good. And if it's a little late. Um, we don't have a lot of money to spare there. Let's see what we can, if there's any other farms we can burn down at G. Yeah, let's go and burn that farm down next to the city. Okay into the next turn. Oop, battle has broken out. Oops, that one went a bit quicker than I expected. They've already ran away. Oh, give us a good opportunity to burn their farms down. 150 gold from burning farms. I guess you get 50 gold per farm. Seems to be the uh, seems to be the current sort of modifier. Uh, I'm gonna set this army back to a defensive stance. Oh no, wrong button. Wrong button. Defend. Try and hold out there. At least surprise some defense for Shengdong because that's pretty struggling. Um, we have very little money still. Um, what have I got constructed? Have I got anything built that's really costing a lot per turn? Let's see, that silk weaver could go. It would be a shame to lose. Uh, we have got rammed earth walls, I think, built in this city. Yes. So this is so Pi is pretty well defended. Um, oopsie daisy. Didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see if that's comparable. No, so none of the enemy cities have got such thick walls as our capital, which is good. But because we haven't got any archers, we can't actually take down the enemy city either. Which is a problem. So, I think that's going to have to do for this week's episode. We've got quite a few problems to contend with now for our little empire. We've lost a city to the north. Um, and they could continue to bear down. At least we're going to build walls now at Xiaomeng. Which should hopefully make it a bit more defensible. I'm guessing that the enemy bar to, to our sort of east hasn't actually got any archers built yet. So that's why they can't hurt Shengdong, as I've just found out. But unfortunately, because I've not got any archers built either, I'm unable to burn down uh, Shi. Because it would be nice to take that and just wipe these people out. So we'll just have to see how we do going forwards. If you enjoyed the video and my sort of suffering through this game, uh, consider giving it a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.